Welcome everybody to Connect Group. This is week six and the final week in our series entitled Putting Government in Its Place. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this discussion. I hope you're diving into scripture. My prayer has been that we will first be disciples before we're politicians, even before we're U.S. citizens, we'll be citizens of heaven seeking first the kingdom of God and recognizing his kingdom must always come first, as should his people being united. It's through our unity that the world will know that we're his disciples. So thank you for being a part of this, talking about tough stuff, being willing to look to the Bible. Uh, this doesn't end, by the way, as a student of scripture, as a disciple of Jesus, we're gonna continue to grow. We're gonna continue to refine what we think, what we believe. That's part of God developing us and helping us become more like him. So I'm grateful for that. And we're all in different places. And you know what? That's okay. That's the way it should be because we're all uniquely in God's hands and his children as he's man raising us. So thanks for being here this week. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about how we stay the course. This has probably been one of the greatest challenges as your pastor, especially I would say in the last three years. We had that, we have a, we had like a trifecta. I wanna say it was 2020 when there was so much social unrest. We had the world pandemic. Uh, we had uh, the polarizing political elections uh, in November. It was just crazy. And I know this week we're drawn really close to the election time. And I wanna say thank you for keeping Jesus first. And that really is the focus. How do we stay a Jesus-centered church in such polarizing times? I think this will be a great discussion. And really what it's gonna do, is gonna bring us back to what we're about. And that's, man, adoring and following Jesus Christ. I love you, I'm praying for you. Have a great discussion.